Hey, Brianna and the Gresham Roofing crew. This is Brianna here. Um, I spoke with Brianna earlier on the phone today and she told me I could send this video to you guys. So I wanted to make sure I got it out to you. Um, this video is only gonna take a few minutes. I'm just gonna point out three quick things that you guys can do on your website to get more customers finding you online, which in turn will lead to more revenue for you guys. The first thing I'm gonna cover is content. Uh, Google likes to see content. Content is king. Google likes to see a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage, and then you want at least 500 words on each of the back service pages, okay? Um, and the reason being is there's actually two reasons. First one is if you don't have any content on your website, Google's going to treat you like a scam site, and that's not what we want. The more content that you're putting out and the more information you're talking about for your service, the more Google's going to see you as an expert, and they're going to rank you accordingly. The other reason is that the more content you have, the more keywords you can have. You're only supposed to have one keyword for every 100 words of content. So clearly it gets up there when you need that. And the keywords are how your customers are going to search for you online. So it does play an important part to really have a variety of keywords to be finding all those potential customers. Over here I've pulled up the keyword of Portland Roofer. I skipped back, uh, skipped past the Google ads because they are not going to be worthwhile. Um, usually people have ad blockers, so it's kind of just burning money at that point. Now with this Google Map Pack here, this is the second thing I wanted to bring up. The Google My Business needs to be optimized. If you don't have it set up yet, you need to get on it. When you do this, you want to make sure all your information is added, uh, you have some photos, and then you need something called citations. Citations are basically online directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, White Pages, etc. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you have as many of those as you can to be in these top three spots to show up on the first page of Google there. No one clicks a view all, so that's the main reason. We'll scroll past this citation, and here we have Cascade Roofing Portland. So I'm going to be using them as your competition or your competitor for the remainder of the video since they showed up for Portland Roofer. And over here, we can go ahead and check out their website and see how much content they've got going on their page. Okay, so they've got quite a bit of content going there. And then I'm going to show you this tool that I use when I'm helping my clients. I pulled up your website, and we can see here that you guys have a very low domain rating. This means you don't have very good backlinks. You guys need to get strong, authoritative backlinks that are relevant to your industry. If you guys are backlinking with companies like Pizza Hut and stuff like that, it's going to drop your rating, and Google's not going to have as much trust for you, and your authority is going to go out the window for keywords. Um, out of the 55 websites that are discussing your services, 31 of them have a clickable link that allows customers to be redirected to your website, okay? You guys are ranking for 298 keywords, and you're holding the first position for all of the keywords that involve your company name, which is great because you can see right here there's already uh, about a 300 volume happening each month for people searching for Gresham roofing contractors and roofing and construction. Because you guys are in the first position, you're getting about 65 traffic for those three keywords altogether. Um, now there's a few more too, but I want to show you kind of just that difference. With Gresham Roofing, actually we'll do, with Gresham Roofing contractors being only 60 searches a month, in the first position you're getting about 14 traffic, but down here on Gresham Roofing and Construction, there's a 30 volume, and you guys are the third option, so you're not even getting a full four on the traffic. It really drops how much people are going to click on you when you're not first. People are very lazy. <laughs> um... So if we go back here, you're kind of ending with 41 organic traffic for the month. Keep these numbers in mind. I'm going to go ahead and show you your competitor over here. Now here's Cascade Roofing Portland. Um, they also have a low rating, which means you have an opportunity to take advantage there. Uh, they do have some backlinks and referring domains. I will always go through the competitor for my client and I find if there's any that are actually worthwhile. If they have a high domain rating and a good organic traffic volume, I'm going to actually copy them over to my client's website so that they can get the boost from it too, just like their competitor is. The only thing I'm going to do different on that is I'm going to make sure my client has more 
of everything than the competitor does, okay? Not only just better quality, but just more in general, and that's important. Um, they're ranking for a few more keywords. They have 487. Keep in mind the difference on that organic traffic. That's what we're really looking at here. You guys were sitting at 41, not even hitting triple digits. They're sitting at 423. Um, so let's see what their keywords are that they're ranking for. Portland Roofers right here, they're in the first position and that has 3,500 search volume. They're getting over a thousand traffic just for that one keyword. They're breaking the triple digits right there. They're going into four digits, just running through. Um, now, as we know, like this isn't going to result in all of the people trying to choose them for services, but it gives you an advantage when you're first on Google and you're getting the most people clicking to your site. So you want to make sure you have a really optimized site so you can get that traffic and boost your business. Um, that's kind of it. Do those three steps. You guys are going to be in luck and you're going to be seeing magic happen for your sales and your projects that you've got going on. Another way for your keywords to be ranking, when you upload photos to your website or to the Google My Business, you want to make sure that you actually use the keywords you're trying to rank for. So Portland Roofers would be a good area to put for the keyword or file name for this photo or something else, you know? And like I said, that works for this and the map pack here, all right? Either place where you add photos, make sure the file names are keywords. Um, get some more content going, and then you guys are going to need to start backlinking your website with some really good authoritative sites that are relevant to your field. And then you want to make sure you have citations all set up with your contact information and business information. If you guys do these steps, you're going to see a huge boom in business and you're going to have quite a few bundles of shingles to be putting up, to be honest. Um, that's all I really have for you guys today. So I hope you can use this information. If you need help with it, please let me know. I will be following up with you guys just to get your feedback on this video because it takes me so much time to make these and I don't want to be wasting the owners or business businesses times that I'm sending them to if they're not bringing value. So thank you for letting me send the video to you guys and watching it and I look forward to talking to you guys this week.